Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator if we have 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 5 minus 1 and we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move toward the solution of this problem. So here you see that this is 7 to the power of 5 and now here first we need to find the value of 7 to the power of 5. So that here uh, first we will just take 7 to the power of 5. And further in the next step, uh, you know about that the meaning of 7 to the power of 5 is that we multiply 7 with 5 times. You remember one thing is that in this question calculator is not allowed in this problem this means that we need to show all of the working on this paper so that's why we do these type of steps because of calculator is not allowed so that we uh, uh, just uh, we first convert this uh, expression into the lowest form and then we do uh, the multiplication or any other steps okay I hope so you like this method and now you see here this is 7 times 7 and we know about that 7 times 7 becomes 49. This 7 times 7 is also becomes 49 and it is multiplied by 7. Here now first we break this value into the parts and then we multiply it. So here uh, in further multiplication of these two bigger numbers, uh, here we break this 49 as this is 49 is multiplied by we break this 49 as into the form of tens and ones and it will become here 40 plus 9 and it is multiplied by 7 and further in the next step we need to multiply this 49 on both of these two values and it will be written as 49 is multiplied by 40 plus 49 is multiplied by 9 and it is multiplied by 7. So here further in the next step we need more simplification then it will be written as. Uh, so uh, further in the next step. Uh, here you consider uh, uh, we consider this is a one digit number and this is our two digit number. So here first we multiply 0 with this number you get here 0 times 49 becomes 0. And now we multiply 4 with this number and it will be written as 4 9 the 36 we write 6 and carry 3 4 4 the 16 16 plus 3 becomes here 19 we get 1960 plus in the same pattern we multiply 9 with this 49 and you get here 9 9 the 81 we write 1 and carry 8 9 4 the 36 36 plus 8 becomes here 44 and its resulting answer is multiplied by the 7 and further in the next step we need to sum up both of these two values and its resulting answer is multiplied by the 7 and we get here 0 plus 1 becomes 1 6 plus 4 becomes 10 we write 0 and carry 1 so this 9 plus 4 becomes here 13 13 plus 1 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 so this is 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and it is multiplied by this 7 and now here further in the next step we need to multiply this value with 7 and it will be written as 7 times 1 becomes 7 7 0 is a 0 7 4 is a 28 we write 8 and carry 2 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 2 becomes here 16. So we get here 16,807. This is the value of 7 to the power of 5. And now here we will move backward and we uh, substitute this value of 7 to the power of 5 in on numerator as well as denominator of the given question. So here we need to copy down given question statement and you know about that the given question statement is 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 5 minus 1 is equals to this is 6 uh, 16807 is divided by 16807 and minus 1 
and further in the next step uh, when we subtract these two values it will be written as 16807 is divided by 16807 minus 1 becomes 16806 so here we need to uh, break numerator term as this is 16807 we write it as 16806 plus 1 is divided by 16806 and further in the next step we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 16806 is divided by 16806 plus 1 is divided by 16806 and now you see here this value is cancelled out by this value and we will get here 1 plus 1 is divided by 16806 and now here further we need to uh, combine we need to write this into the combination or whole or mixed fraction form so the mixed fraction of this value is one whole one divided by 16806 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos